No foot, foot. No foot. That's foot. a cool. No foot, foot. Bird. Hey, Brian. Hey, Drew. Clinky. Oh, we're doing this. Clink. Yes, we are. Hey, I like your uh, Disney World mug. I know. How since you are just since you are just back from the mag most magical place on Earth, I figured yes. I'd bring a little bit of magic. Uh, is it the most magical place on Earth? I always thought it was the happiest place on Earth. Did they change their slogan? Happiest place on Earth. You're right. But no, it's also the I Magic is, Kingdom. No, I think it is magical. Though. Uh, I don't know. Whatever. Whatever it is, it's both of those things. Whatever um, it is, you're no longer there. Yes, that is true. And now I'm. Uh, it's like cold and rainy and everything here. But Welcome to oh Richmond. Well. Indeed. But we're back. Um, but we got something really cool to talk about today. I am so excited about this. Yes. Um, truth be told, I did. I literally like really unplugged last week. So Good. I don't really know it's what's vacation. going on. So I'm getting kind of a first impression of today's pens, which is the Montegrappa Moon Landing pens. Now, for those of you that aren't aware, it's the 50th anniversary of the moon landing mm -hmm. this year, uh, and Montegrappa has created a pen. Two pens, Quite actually. a pen. Quite two pens. Yeah. And it is not our usual, like, hey, you know, if you want to pick one up, here's where you do it. This is a big deal. This, this is, is kind of, kind of like yeah. a once-in-a-lifetime thing. We don't normally... Yeah. Um, pick pens like these up, but the moon landing anniversary has been huge. There have been a lot of companies that have decided to celebrate the anniversary, yeah. and Montegrappa is no exception. Yeah, and they've really come up with something cool. So we got two different pens we're going to show you. One is the crazy limited edition one, and the other one is the more the open edition, or yeah. the standard edition one. The more accessible edition. Yes. So we're going to show you the crazy, ridiculous edition first. <laughs> Obviously. Um, because it's super cool. So. Um, uh, first off is a limited edition one. There's 363 of them made because that is the height of the Saturn V rocket. Which is huge. Which is huge. It's gigantic. Just look how big it is. That's insane. I mean, this is just a scale model, but it's still huge. This is the uh, it's the biggest <laughs> it's the biggest uh, rocket that's taken uh, people to outer space. Hasn't yes. still still hasn't been beaten. Yep. It's insane. Crazy. 50 years hasn't been beaten. It's awesome. Also, a really cool Lego set if you happen to be into it. My goodness. Uh, okay. There's that. I really. Oh no! Ah! That's well, fine. They didn't actually need that part when they launched. Six. Yeah. Yes. Okay. That was unnecessary. <laughs> it was no, only for emergencies. It's not 363 now. <laughs> anyway, um, so let's show the pen. There's kind of two parts. There's the pen, and then there's the box. The box is its own kind of thing. The pen comes separately, packaged from the box for safety reasons. Yes. And this is the pen. It looks. <laughs> Quite different. Uh, it's the first two-dimensional writing <laughs> instrument. Um, well, in space, you know, things are usually very thin. It's wide on the downstroke, really thin across. Wow. You just dip it in the ink. <laughs> yeah. Right, don't listen to me. Don't listen to me. No. Um, so size. here's the pen. So this is a pen made of resin and sterling silver. Uh, it's got some really cool features. Yes, of course, Drew's a big fan of space. Um, makes me, you know, I'm a fan of space, but I'm not like... I'm really not a fan when I see you talk about space because I realize like, oh, I, I really, mean, I'm not like I a really super don't... educated nerd about it, but mm. I can definitely geek out about it from time to time. For sure. But there it is, Look Brian. At Look at that beauty. Look at that. It's awesome. So, um, it's a piston filler and <clears throat> it has some really cool features going on. Obviously, the styling is really, really cool. Looks a whole heck of a lot like the rocket. Mm -hmm. um, they have some other kind of fancy elements to it. Um, you know, it's got laser etched with um, backfilled uh, enameling. That's how they do the flag in the USA and the United States and all that kind of fun stuff. The clip is a lost, lost wax casting in sterling silver. It's meant to represent the umbilical um, tower. The ta yes, is that's that what, what they it's call called? it? The umbilical tower. Well, yeah. There you go. There so it is. So that's that. Uh, 18 karat nib, uh, gold nib, and uh, yeah. and there it is. Beautiful. It has the uh, Apollo 11 mission patch on it with the mm -hmm. eagle, which is, uh, I guess you can see that on the uh, you can see it on the label on here. The top there, and yep. you can see this very cool booklet that is holographic. Emblazoned with the mission patch. Emblazoned, isn't that Emblazoned. a cool word? There yeah. you go. I don't know how you can see, can you see that in yeah. here? Yeah. And you can see like the foot is there. It's not, it's there. It's not. I know, who knows? <laughs> so cool. So it's got like backstory on the, the mission and the creation of the pen and all that good stuff, which we have some of that information on our site. And then... It's cool. So apparently they, they worked oh, for months. Oh yeah, there's more. Oh, there's more. So they worked for months to develop. They were inspired by the, the complications of like fine watches. Um, they have like watch themes among several of their pens, um, but they, they wanted to develop something kind of complicated. So you'll see the pen itself is kind of like multiple stages of the rocket. Uh, so it actually like splits out, yeah. Boom. So the blind cap 
is the rocket boosters, and you yeah. turn that, yeah. so and this, that exposes... This back part turns. Yeah, and that exposes like stage two of mm -hmm. the rocket. And that you can also see an ink window that shows you the ink level in the pen. Yeah. And it's pretty cool. And then to actually operate the piston mechanism, you pull out the rocket booster on the back here. And that engages the piston mechanism. Can you show me how that's done? Yeah, so you literally there. just pull it like that. And then oh, I see. it's got kind of a watch winder uh, click. Which Montegrappa has that ratchet piston on some of the yeah, other pens. Yeah, on the Montegrappa Montegrappa. Mm -hmm, they do. Yeah, so you can, I'm not sure if you can hear it. Yeah, maybe? Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Uh, so that operates the piston. It spins a whole bunch of times. Um, but it's pretty cool, and it's fun. So you don't have, mind having to spin it a bunch of times. Uh, but yeah, and then you just re-engage. They get to hold it the... in the right place. There you go. Oh, yeah. Re-engage, and then boom, it goes back in. So apparently this was an extremely complicated mechanism to develop. Yeah, don't say. Yeah, but they wanted to do it because it was super cool. Yeah, it's a big deal. This. Yeah, and then, of course, stage uh, three is the rocket, is the whatever. Um, Cap. Yeah, That's I guess what it is. technically is this, would stay, this would stay attached to stage two. Okay, there you go. Well, but still. They're trying to work with what You they see got the here. bottom of stage two there. Yeah. Which I guess yeah, you yeah. could see the whole stage two by, you know, there just you operating it um, capped. But Nice. Yeah. And then. Uh, it's a heavy pen. It's gigantic. Like it's, 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 a, it's a big, big pen. pen. Like, I have big hands. Right. And it still seems pretty big. But anyway. It does not post. It does not post. <laughs> that is true. Um, but you can stand it up on your desk like this precariously. You know what else you can put it in? What? You just does it come with a box? Oh, I mean, this doesn't seem like a very no, fancy box. No, it does not come with any oh, box whatsoever. There is a box. Why would you think that, Brian? I'm going to set this gently here. So the box actually comes separately from the pen because the box itself is is pretty uh, meaningful, pretty noteworthy. Oh my gosh. Boom. I mean, just the foam is. Like, <sighs> I need to take a break after This is that. some high density foam. I mean, just the foam. Going. Just the foam. <laughs> like. Oh, yeah. Wow. Okay, so we got a sli sli yeah, slide. Yeah, this will this this will be in this bag when it arrives. If you don't buy this, if you don't buy this, you might have FOMO. Oh, <laughs> sorry. I'm just coming off a week with my kids where everything was funny. Uh, okay, so there we go. Get the foam aside. Okay, so there's more foam happening here. Yep, and this uh, that shows. front part opens it down. It kind of looks like a little galactic here. Wow! Wow! Yep. Right? Wow. Right, Andy? Wow. Andy's getting foam on right now. <laughs> <laughs> we have enough foam. We do. So, and then the Saturn V rocket. It like fits inside. It does. Mm -hmm. There's uh, There are five holes there that um, mm -hmm. plug right oh, into right in the here. five boosters. Okay. So, um, you kind of... Okay. Yeah. That's cool. Wow. And there That's it is. That's pretty cool. So, you have some options to display this thing. You do, indeed. I mean, your face it comes Oh, that's like, fine. It doesn't need pretty, to be. That's People don't want to see that. I mean, yeah, you can... It's literally a display case. Or you can just open the thing up. If you're, however if, you want to If do. you're paying this money, you are <laughs> going to want to show this off. I would. Mm. Okay, this is the back this, part's fixed. Yeah. So you have to look at the earth. You have to look at the earth. Technically, we all have to look at the earth <laughs> every day. You know? So this pen is not on the uh, cheap side. No. It's a $8,100 MSRP. Yeah. We have it for $72.90. Um, and there's actually a, another version of this pen. Mm -hmm. There is the, what they call the, what do they call it? The Ultimate Edition, which there's 53 of those that are made in solid 18 karat gold and titanium, <sighs> which gets a little pricier. We don't even have that one as an option no, on our no. site, but if you're interested, let this us is a know. Big, this is a big enough deal for us. Indeed. And the reason they did 53 of the Ultimate Edition is because they did 50 to celebrate the anniversary and three to celebrate the three crew members that were on yeah. the vessel. If you do think that uh, a lot of people look <clears throat> at this and they think the pen can fit in there, it cannot. In there no. is just more acrylic. So Yeah, that's, I mean, you mm -hmm. could technically plop it in there. You could. It's not going to look not pretty. For, no. Not how it's properly displayed. Um, so let's just kind of slide this over to the side here and just glance at it. Um, I'm hoping that no one buys it so I can just leave it on my desk <laughs> forever. Um, but just in case, uh, there you go. All right. There's the pen. So now let's show the open edition. Ta-da! Still a formidable box. Like this is a very oh, yeah, no, you box. Can, there's nothing to sneeze nor shake a stick at. 
Where did that expression come from? Well, someone tried to shake a stick at something and it just didn't work out well for them. I guess not. They might have tried to shake a stick and sneeze at a gift horse. So does that mean and Just imagine how bad that would have gone. Does that mean something is good that it is worth sneezing at it? If you reverse that logic, like, <laughs> this pen is really nice. Like, I would sneeze at it. <laughs> like, you should sneeze at it. Is that the lo uh, Anyway. I digress. I love that. I'm going to say that. More. I mean, think about it logically. Anyway, you should sneeze at this. It's so good. These are the questions that I answered being with my kids for an entire week last week. They were asking. <laughs> you these, should sneeze. They were asking these types of things. Definitely anyway, shake a stick at that. So, not the fancy uh, thing there, but this is that this is, is really awesome. this is the cool. first time I've seen this one. This one actually looks like a unit that they would actually yes. have on the so yeah. This rocket. was this was designed to be the what did they call it the um. Uh, it's like a first aid kit or something. It was like what they brought back the samples from the moon. Ooh. So like it was the, the moon cases, nuggets. The moon nuggets. Yeah, exactly. That's the scientific term. Mm -hmm. um, so anyway, if you unzip the moon nugget here, you can see the pen itself. Ta-da! This one comes in the case. And it's like... This is really cool. This, this is a solid case. Yeah, this, this foam really does feel NASA-y. And this one doesn't have... The holographic booklet, but it does have a booklet with lots of information. Yeah, you're not going to so be wanting really for cool. info. No, you will not. Um, this one is a cartridge converter pen, so the mechanism is a little different. Uh, I'll set that aside over there. This one, and I haven't seen this in person yet. I've only seen pictures, so this is first impression for me. Okay. So it's the same basic design. Yes. So this is an all aluminum pen uh, with laser etching for the designs. Is there a very similar kind of rocket theme? Doesn't yeah, have the really sharp. booster type mechanism on the back. Has an, a similar clip, mm -hmm. not the exact same, not as intricate. But inspired obviously. by obviously the same concept. Exactly. <clears throat> it is a stainless steel nib, which is the Yovo nib, which is mm -hmm. for, for its phenomenal. It's a beautiful it's, nib. It's they, one of your favorites. And I know. yeah, they have a next level polish on their Yovo nib. Exactly, and it's got like this kind of matte finish to it. Yeah, it looks really which nice. I really really like. And even Ooh. though it's even though it's all metal, it doesn't. I mean, it's it's hefty, but it doesn't feel like right. It's hefty because of oh the size, gosh. not because of the weight of the material. Yeah. So I mean, there you go. I like that a lot. And it's even though it's metal, it's got a nice grip to it. Like yeah. Hold that in your hand. It feels pretty yeah, decent. that feels really good. So this one, if you if you and wanted you, to actually write and with you it, could post post slightly this slightly more practical. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Not not crazy. So if you're an enthusiast and you want to pick something up that celebrates the anniversary of the landing, mm -hmm. but uh, can't break the bank just yet. This might be the option for you. Exactly. Now, Drew, I do have to ask, if you had one of these, would you just leave it on your desk or would you rock it? No. Oh. You know what? I can't I can't considering the dumb things I've said this time, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna give you any crap for that. Yeah. Uh I would depends really got me fired up, you know. <sighs> like a J2 rocket. That's right. All right. And I really appreciate how Monograppa has uh, understood the gravity of this uh, anniversary. And here. with that. <laughs> We're going to be merciful and let you go. <laughs> Indeed, you can check out these pens on GoulayPens.com. Thanks so much for watching and right on.